we're going to go to sketch circle and then select the center diameter circle and select this plane we're going to set the diameter 65 millimeters and we're going to zoom in we're going to create another circle and we're going to set that diameter to 24.122 millimeters and we're going to select this profile we're going to extrude it set the thickness to three millimeters just label this centering ring then we're going to go ahead and create a group and we're going to call it motor mount. Now we're going to create a line. That'll actually create a new sketch for us. And we're going to select top view. And we're going to set this line length to 90 millimeters. We're going to create another line and set it three and a half centimeters long, going out from below the other line, or from going out to the right of that line. We're going to create another line that's 50 millimeters. Then on the end of that one, we're going to create a five millimeter line. We're going to create another line from the left side of that 5mm line going up to the origin and then create another line going up to the very tippy top of the 90mm line. Now we're going to hit T and trim off these two lines. We're going to create another line. We're going to extend it out 5mm to the left of the fin. And then we're going to extend it all the way to the top of the fin and then bring it over and connect it. Then we're going to hit T and trim this line. Now we're going to select that profile. We're going to hit E and we're going to extrude it 3mm. We're going to select the fin, right click it, hit move copy, and then rotate it 90 degrees. And move it over, make sure everything lines up for us. Then we're going to move it out, move it back in, get everything lined up. It's vitally important that you get everything perfectly lined up right here. We're going to create pattern, circular pattern. And then we're going to set our pattern type to bodies. And then for our objects, we're going to select the fin. And our axis, we're going to select this upper inner circle. And we're going to make sure our quantity set to 3 and click OK. We're going to modify, combine, select the centering ring as our target body. Make sure our operation is set to cut. Now for our tool bodies, we're going to select all three of our fins. And make sure that the little checkbox labeled Keep Tools is checked and click OK. We're going to hide all the fins. Select this interface, we're going to press pull it negative 0.5 millimeters, and we're going to do that for each one. If you bring your fins back in, you can see there's going to be a small gap here. We're going to control C, control V our centering ring, and we're going to drag it up and get it lined up here, just roughly. It won't matter. Our motor mount is done. We're going to go ahead and close that group. Now we're going to go to left view. We're going to create a new line, select that planar face. We're going to make this line 127 millimeters long. At the bottom of this line, we're going to create another line that goes out 32.5 millimeters. Now we're going to create a line going straight up 25.4 millimeters. Then from that line, we're going to create one going out to the right 33 millimeters. I'm just going to get rid of these dimension labels. From this bottom line, we're going to create a line and attach it right at the top and make sure it has a 90 degree signifier. We're going to create a new line, go up here at the top, and we're going to set its length to 0.5 millimeters. And this will just help with some of the spline and the revolve function. Now we're going to go to sketch, spline, bit point spline. Go from that top line, create a reference point right there, and connect it to the bottom. And then click the check mark. And we're going to drag that reference point around until we get it just how we like it. We're going to hit D and trim that line. We're going to go up to the top here. We're going to create a new line and bring it over about yay far. We're going to go to the bottom and create a line going up 3 millimeters. Take this line over to the right and the left. We're going to create another line going over 15 millimeters. From there we're going to create a line going straight up. Then we're going to hit T and trim a couple of these lines. We're going to create another line going out to the left 3 millimeters. Then we're going to go down and connect it to the very bottom and go up and connect it roughly at where that other line is. We're going to hit T and trim that line. Then we're going to create another line, go from this corner to this corner. Then we're going to trim a couple of these lines. Then we're going to create another line right here for strength and then trim those extra lines. Then we're going to go to sketch spline, fit point spline. Then we're going to select that point there, select the reference point and connect it up back at the top. Hit the check mark. We don't want our nose cone quite that thick, so we're going to move that reference point around until we get it just right. Now we're going to create, revolve. For our profile, we're going to select these two profiles here. Just like that. And for the axis, we're going to select that one long line we made. 
everything else should be good, and we're going to click OK. We're going to label this nose cone, and we're actually going to press pull this center hole to make it a little wider, save a little filament when we print it. And there's our nose cone. Go ahead and make our motor mount visible again, and we're going to move our nose cone back up so we can kind of see how it looks. Join us in the construction video to see how all the parts finally fit together in the actual rocket.